New proof. ISIS has plans to commit terrorism, and the plans are global. The United States, the United Kingdom, and France, and that's just for starters. 12,000 foreign fighters from at least 50 countries, all fighting for that very barbaric terrorist group in Syria. The majority of them are for ISIS, and the scariest part of all is right here in America. At least 140 of those jihadists are Americans. That means they have American passports. The State Department releasing disturbing new numbers just one day after news that an American was killed while fighting for ISIS in Syria. And Senator Lindsey Graham joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Senator, um, the 140 is the number that we're getting of how many Americans are likely fighting over for ISIS uh, in Syria and Iraq. Um, but I don't know if it's a large number, but what do you have to say about that? Well, I don't know if it's 140. One is too many. But if this war continues and ISIS continues to win and as, is seen as a conquering jihadist hero in the uh, eyes of these disturbed people throughout the world, it's going to be 1,400. Uh, President Obama, in my view, is derelict in his duty as commander-in-chief to get ahead of this threat to our homeland. All of these American citizens who are going to jihad for ISIS or any other organization should be considered as any, uh, enemy combatants under the American law of war, subject to being killed or captured. And I'm going to write a letter to the administration asking if they agree with that assessment. You know, I, I hate to keep pounding him night after night on his JV comment that he made in The New Yorker yeah. in January about yeah. ISIS, that they're JV. I mean, at the time, they had taken Fallujah, and Fallujah in 2004 yeah. was one of our biggest yeah. battles, so that was no small feat. But if he got it so wrong in January, yeah. and if the intelligence that he was given by the CIA was so wrong then, I mean, where's my confidence now that, uh, they, you know, that, he, that he suddenly was getting the right intelligence and making the right decisions? Well, all, this is not an act of nature. Uh, ISIS didn't come about from a hurricane or a storm. Uh, they filled in a vacuum created three years ago by the president's inaction in Syria. His entire national security team said, arm the Syrian rebels that would align with us. He chose not to. ISIS came from Iraq and now all over the world. They've invaded Syria. They have a foothold in Syria and Iraq. They're a terrorist army. They're not a terrorist organization. He had a chance uh, when he drew a red line with Assad and did nothing about it. He allowed this problem to get worse. And my belief is that the commander chief is derelict in his duties to get ahead of this problem and protect the homeland. And if we don't hit these guys in Syria, there's no hope of stopping them. And the goal should be to defeat these guys, not contain them. Is there anything you can say to convince me that um, tonight that, I mean, things have very much changed in his approach towards ISIS? I mean, I hear what the Pentagon says. I hear what he said in his statements. But, uh, you know, as a U.S. senator who's, who's deeply involved in these international matters, are you hearing that our Pentagon is stepping it up and, and looking at this very differently? Well, this is one U.S. senator that was burned by President Obama. A year ago this week, almost to the day, I, along with Senator McCain, went to the White House to speak with President Obama to stand by him when he drew the red line against Assad for using chemical weapons. He assured us he was going to degrade Assad and upgrade uh, the Syrian Free Army and was not coming to Congress. He took a walk with his uh, chief of staff a couple of days later and pulled the rug out from us. And uh, no, I don't have any confidence at all that he understands the threat to our country. And his indecision upon indecision is putting our homeland at risk. And there's 140 American citizens today. There's going to be 1,400 if we don't start beating these guys. Senator, thank you for joining us. Thank you.